All right, guys, welcome back to Marvel's Spider-Man with the long couch. I am having a grand old time just sitting up here admiring this bird's eye view of everything, guys. I don't know what that building is over there. I'm kind of curious about it. <laughs> it's not the Avengers Tower because that's all the way over there. But there's something... Something interesting about that guy over there. That could be, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters or something. I don't know. But, in any case, we should really just get a move on. We got a lot of things to do in this game still. And uh, I'm just going to free fall for a while here because this looks amazing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Woo! <laughs> I'm still kind of upset about the fact that there's no fall damage in this game. I really feel like there should be. But I guess I understand why they wanted to do it the way they did. In any case... This is a really good, just kind of chillax game. You know, I spent a lot of time in Spider-Man 2 just swinging around, not really doing much of anything else, guys. And I can see myself doing a lot of that in this game as well. Just because... It's easy and fun. But I have to go for a pigeon. And the chase is on. Screw the shootouts. I need a pigeon. <laughs> uh, he's a fast little bugger. <sighs> Dang, he made me run for it, guys. Two out of 12. Okay. What else can we do on our way to the next story beats? Well, there's another pigeon. <laughs> Some research tokens over here, a backpack, yeah. There's a black cat thing over there, ah! So easy to get pulled in every single direction. But not always a good idea. Hello there, my pretty. Okay. I kind of thought that, uh... <laughs> I kind of thought that just like jumping down and then holding down L2 would let me zip right to it, but it didn't work. Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. Yeah, isn't that the second time you've had a significant failure in the kitchen, Spidey? I feel like that's like every recipe we find, he's like, oh, I was terrible at this. Couldn't do it as much as I tried. Research! Let's hit this guy up. So what's going on in this district? Okay, the stuff in this station, revolutionary. If we can get it to work, if we can get it to work. <laughs> Engineered bacteria that dissolves plastics into harmless component parts. Really hope we can work out the kinks. I hope so as well. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Interesting. You know, it occurs to me, guys. Oh, man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. What? The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> the zip line web seemed fine. Spider okay. Is coming through. Well, at least I can yeah, still do that. I'm getting a heck of a workout. <laughs> Oh, this sucks. This God, is like... I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. I feel completely neutered. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. Alright. Well, it's easy enough to just leapfrog like this. Ugh. But yeah, it occurs to me, guys. I don't really know anything about Harry Osborne's mother. I don't think I've ever heard any stories about her. I don't think I've ever heard anything about the character. I don't even know what her damn name is. But Harry's brought her up a couple times. Well, Spidey and Harry have both brought her up a couple times. Let's see. Did I make it in time? Okay. I hope so. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. 
Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine it. Damn it. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Ah! Not trying to stick to the wall. Jump, damn you, Spidey. You are breaking my balls here. This is an interesting wrinkle on the whole formula. <laughs> but I hope this doesn't go on too long. Basically, this mission is like, let's take what people love about this game and just completely, like, take it out. This is going to be good for all of, like, five minutes. And then it's going to be insanely annoying. This would also suck a lot more if you didn't have that super jump thing from the zip line. Luckily, I picked that up pretty early. Ugh. So close. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that should be the last one of that. I got my fill. It was fun. Let's never do that again. <laughs> okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. Sure. Let's run in here and do that. Maybe we'll run into Doc Ock. Haven't talked to him in quite a while. I don't even know what that old fart knocker's up to right now. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. This thing's industrial? Okay. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Oh, uh, back to these. It's been a while since I did any of these, guys. Well, let's see. Let's just see. What do we what do we need here? We have one negative. It's not gonna come into play on the first one. Oh, we need three total to do this first one, which means each line has to be by itself. Except that's not possible. So we will have to use the negative. Hmm. So let's actually replace that. Stick that. That's not going to work. Damn it. Okay, let's move on to another one, and then maybe that one will get easier. That piece is not going to work. This one might. With this one. And then... These two? Okay. Then let's throw that one. And that one. Okay, yep. Process of elimination makes it easy. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Which I guess means that I can't spend my time here doing these other puzzles. Or can I? Because if we've unlocked any new ones, then yeah, let's totally hit these up while we're here. Cool. Logic controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. What? <laughs> oh boy, it's been a long time, guys. Okay. Let's start off with one of those. And then. Rotate that guy. Our target voltage is four. We've got a two, a one, and two threes. <sighs> okay. Well, let's try and remember that we can just kind of swap these out as needed. In fact, if I just go... And I have to go down into that one, so... Yeah. So we'll use that. Let's give this a negative one. Right here. Might as well use this guy. Can't do that. 
That one's the one I meant right there. And then we want to hit two. And then if we can avoid that last negative, that'll work out fine. If it's possible to do that. Which it's actually not, it seems. Hmm. So let's go back to this. Swap that out for a three. Use him. Then here we want a negative one. I still don't understand why we can swing those both ways when that's like completely not necessary. But whatever. That ought to do it. These things are awesome. So much more versatile than traditional fixed axis designs. That's exactly what I was thinking. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future indeed. Okay. Well, we pretty much have to go down here. Um, we only want a voltage of two on this one, so we're going to throw a three in there. And then from here, let's just go straight down. Is that going to work? Looking ahead, I don't see why it wouldn't. I suppose I'll find out. <laughs> oh, wait a second. That's why it won't work, because I can't go straight through this guy. I have to come in from the left. So let's remove that. Stick in him. There we go, that's what we needed. Yeah, we definitely need both of those straight pieces for that one right there, so. <laughs> now for this, we want to hit voltage 2. So, this is already not going to work. What if I do a 3 right there? And then another 3 will do it. Yeah, that'll work out. Then I pretty much have to use up the rest of these pieces as they are. That'll work. Now the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. And a little creepy. A little creepy. <laughs> Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface. Good lord. Okay. We want voltage level three. We're trying to end up over here. Why is there a negative two just stuck back here in the corner? That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Some of these are already placed, so we have to use the voltage that's on the board. This one has a plus three, which means we want to get here with zero. Okay. So we start off going this way. Let's see. We've got plus three, plus two, negative three, negative two. So, theoretically, if I can make this work, I'm not sure if I can. Let's look ahead. If we can skirt by without using this spot here. No, wait, we're going to have to. Yeah, that's actually what we want to do. So let's just use a negative two here. And then... Oh, I can't rotate this? Oh, they're stuck the way they are. Okay. Okay, I see what's going on here now. In that case, let's take that out and use a three. Right now we're at negative three. What do we want to go up to? Hmm. Yeah, let's just use a three there. We'll worry about swapping out the voltages later. It's kind of how we have to do this, I think. Another one here. 
One of them's. One of them's. Okay, so now the question becomes... Yeah, we... Okay, so we want to bypass this. So, we're going to use this. And then for here... That doesn't go the right way. That's okay, we can just use this. Got it. Revolutionary. But not 100% stable. We need to refine this design. Well, we're getting there. Alright, couple tokens and decent amount of XP. Let's see what else is new in the lab over here, guys. I'm kind of surprised it's letting me interact with other things while I'm on this... This lab research mission, but I'm also happy about it. Although, honestly, it doesn't seem like they have populated much more to do in here. sure we don't erase that. Auto will get angry with us. And we don't want that. We gotta foster as much goodwill as we can before we actually have to fight him as Dr. Octopus. Yeah, we can't even look at that flyer there anymore. We were able to look at that like every other time we were here. But now it's not interactable. It's a late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Is this a new voice recorder for us? I know I saw that light blinking, and now it seems to have gone out. Or maybe that's just a weird lighting effect. Hey, radio. Shut up. No, we really can't listen to that. Okay, I guess there's actually nothing else to do in here right now, guys. I confess myself surprised. No biggie, though. We did what we needed to. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. Thank the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. Yeah, I heard that. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. I wonder if that's why they do that. Give you that little mission right there just so you can be like, Oh yeah, I should never take my web swinging for granted. <laughs> Pretty effective. Where is this backpack? It's somewhere... In my... Oh, it's right here. I was going to say. Why is there no icon for it? Prom flower. My prom boutonniere. Crushed when I had to fight Fisk. That kind of symbolizes my luck with relationships. That is too bad. Fisk did a lot of damage to us over the years, didn't he, guys? I gotta tell you, a boutonniere is like one of the most surefire ways to get laid on prom night. That's some fancy ass shit, guys. Did you know that boutonniere is French for booty is near? True story. Let me up there. Okay. Here's the testing receptacle. Full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. It'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. Okay, so now this one's still on my map too. What happens if I go back in here? 
still showing is complete. Okay, so all I can gather from that is that maybe... Since there was some dialogue there indicating that this wasn't really complete yet, maybe there's going to be more here later. Like, if I get farther in the story, that'll open up another mission here at this terminal. And that's why they don't disappear off your map. It's really the only thing I can think of as to why it operates the way it does. All I know for sure is it is vaguely annoying. But I can ignore it for now. I think in the meantime, I will head this way. And, uh, oh, here's a fist kite out. We don't find a lot of these. I should probably knock them out as I find them. Folks, I have received unsettling reports of spark... Totally interrupted, JJ. Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. Oh, fuck. I don't have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? Okay. So we need to do a stealth takedown on three snipers. And then ten perfect dodges. It's not too bad. There we go. Just gonna go ahead and assume that anybody with a laser scoped rifle counts as a sniper. In which case, there's not a lot of room for error here because there's not a ton of those dudes. Safe. Okay, where's the last candidate? Are those guys over there snipers? Looks like they might be. In any case, he's in need of a good webbing. Yup. Okay. Then just ten perfect dodges. That's not too bad. Heads up. Nap time. <laughs> just straight up ice that guy. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Hey guys, how do you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> I was stealthy too. Spider Man got Kevin. You got Kevin and a lot of other people too. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Just gonna make sure I actually get through this here. Knock him out. Get down here and fight like a man. It's good practice too. Gotta wait till the last second. Hi guys. I'm just gonna practice my perfect dodging on you. Oh! I deserve that for all my taunting. Ah! Waiting a little bit too long. You can actually you can actually hit the button a little bit before the icon flashes. And the timing will actually work out just about perfect. So Kinda gadgets am I on? Here we go. Oh, I love how that hits so many guys. So handy. I got a funny feeling. Let's get some of the boys up here. Wave two. I can't watch him in the air. Hope wave two is better than wave one. You guys are getting rocked. Whoa, somebody has a rocket launcher. Gonna need to go take that guy out. You. Gonna need you to put that down, sir. Bro. You guys are late. Don't worry. I got plenty of face kicks left. Just in time for wave three. <laughs> uh. 
finish him is at 50 out of 250. Man, these guys can't even keep up with me. Check this out, guys. What? I held down the button to try and air launch him, and he was like, I don't feel like getting air launched. I don't have this many friends. Checked records, and that site's been getting deliveries from cartel front companies. They're moving drugs, huh? Not for long. Oh man, that feels so good. Jacking these guys up like that. Who else wants some? That's about enough of that, good sir. Oh shit, there's another one. I wonder if I can do my perfect takedown with that. Oh, come on. Oh, everything happened at once. I want to do a perfect takedown on the rocket guy. Okay, that's not... That's not a good idea. Oh, great, more of them. Guys, Pisk is in here. You could have just bailed. Oh, shit. Oh. Things can get hairy so quickly. I should have healed with that. I really should have healed with that. Oh, God. Stop it. Get web bombed, motherfucker. Oh, I was trying to web zip up. Reinforcements again? This is only acceptable if you're all showing up in clown cars. Oh fuck! That's not what I wanted to happen there. Okay. No! Oh, that was the worst timing I've ever seen on anything. Oh god, oh god. This is a really bad spot. There's a lot of bad things happening here. No! Oh, there's so many rocket guys. Everything went so bad so quickly. Oh, I'm so sad. You're gonna have a bad day. Ooh, did it. Second try. Yuri, I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great, I'll just consider this an anonymous tip. All right, three base tokens. It kind of sucks when you fail that right at the end and have to redo the whole thing, but I guess it's worth it for the base tokens, right? Ooh, at least it's done. And now I can go do some other things. Let's just mop up these things right over here, because they're relatively close, and I want to. Good shot. Hygiene kit. Superheroing doesn't leave much time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can. Yeah, that's a fair point. You never really think about that, but uh <laughs> Even with superpowers like Spider-Man, you've gotta get pretty dang sweaty fighting crime all the time. Okay. There's a black hat thing up here that I would like to uh knock out right quick. Because we haven't done too many of these yet. Another camera. Looks like Black Cat, all right. Oh, poor spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection? Hmm. There are a lot of windows here. 
And sadly, they all kind of look the same, honestly. Like, there's a little bit of variation. There's, like, there's two different cubicle types. No, three. There's three different cubicle types. And they just repeat all of those over and over and over again. Which I guess is, like, a good commentary on the corporate working life, right? <laughs> but also, that's just kind of sad. And very noticeable. It also makes it kind of challenging to find this damn cat. Because, wow. It could be in a lot of different places. Okay, down here is looking good. There God. it is. I think they sell rare wine here. She's branching out. Gotta try and get ahead of her. I mean, I still don't even know what's going on with this whole thing. This little game of cat and mouse we have going on. Doesn't really work as a phrase because I'm a spider. Cat and spider? Cats will play with spiders, right? That's a thing. Cats will play with pretty much everything, I guess. 